Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Showmont. I got a beautiful rant for you today, and it's a double dose. I'm not going to do this in two. I'm going to do this in one because I have all the information right now. The WNBA didn't wait a half a week to come back with ratings. They came back with the ratings up late, early this evening. <clears throat> and then also we also know what the uh, results of the game, you know, games were yesterday. And, and we have all the information. And I want to break this down for you and from a grander scheme and a grander perspective. Because I do things the way I do things. And I keep it a buck. And I keep it real. It's just how I go. Shout out to my boy, Ben Daniel. Thanks for the shout out. Come on now. Because we call a spade a spade here too. And I saw that video on Sue Bird. She owes you some royalties. I guarantee you that, my friend. <clears throat> but let's just jump right on in. Thank you again for your continued support of our channel. We continue to thrive because of you. And we greatly appreciate it. We're trying different things. And you know, see how things go with different types of, you know, ideas beyond just WNBA. And, you know, we're going to do a live on Friday, on Saturday with the Yankees Royals game one. So we will be doing a live on Saturday, game one of Major League Baseball Divisional Series. And the one and the only Ben Daniel will be joining me because he is also a Yankees fan. So if you like baseball or even if you don't, you just like us. Come jump on with us and have a good time because I promise you this live during the game is going to be entertaining as hell because you've never seen me watching a baseball game. Watching the Yankees in the playoffs, I'm going to be absolutely rabid. Every pitch will feel like the end of the world. I promise you, you will be highly entertained. As I said, you will be highly entertained. I promise you on this one. And Ben is a Yankees fan too, so this is going to be some interesting stuff. All right. God forbid the Yankees fall behind early. We're going to be losing our, our stuff. But you see the topic. WA attendance, trash. TV ratings, trash. But they're going to tell you it was more than – it was more than 2023, so they can justify their failure. We've already done some videos on this stuff already, as I said. But we got the ratings. We have the numbers. We have the attendance. And we have a few little clips to show you as well. But my, oh, my, oh, my. The WNBA is on ESPN2. And neither game cracked a million viewers. They wanted to compete against Major League Baseball. They wanted to compete against the vice presidential <clears throat> debate, which the Braves and Padres do drew more than, I think it was like almost triple what the Aces-Liberty game drew, probably five times what the Lynx-Sun game drew. The Vice presidential de debate drew more than all of them. <clears throat> WNBA surely has a good way of competing. They like to compete with stuff people actually want to watch. I mean, <clears throat> they'd be better off putting the game at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> they'd be better off putting the game at 12. Because they really want to compete. And... They're not playing tomorrow, well, Thursday. They're playing Friday. So on Friday, so they're not going to compete with the NFL tomorrow, and they're not going to com compete with the Mets Brewers, which is going to go to game three tomorrow as the other three series have ended. But they want to compete now <clears throat> on Friday with college football. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, you do you. You do you. <clears throat> I apologize. I'm a little tickle in my throat. I don't know what's going on. But obviously they have to put the game at some point, right? So Friday, Friday, I, I would have said Thursday was a better idea. But Friday, not only are they going to compete against college football, they're competing with date night. 
Friday night is date night. Friday night, Saturday night, those are date nights for adults. Adult couples go out on Friday and Saturday nights. What makes you think people are going to stay home to watch this? Both teams in the bonus. Hayes to Wilson. Wilson to tie it. Doing. There's your league MVP. <clears throat> Choked her ass off on a 14 foot wide open jump shot. That's supposed to be her game, right? Wide open 14 foot jump shot. That's her game. They're going to say to watch that? That would have tied the game with under a minute to go. Or are they going to stay to watch this? This one's even better, though. This one's even better. Drive into the rim. Did she just airball a layup? Did your league MVP just airball a layup? Is she pulling her inner angel Reese and putting it out there for you to see? She just airballed a wide open, uncontested layup. She chose, instead of stopping and getting a, using the backboard or I don't know. It may, maybe it was a tougher angle to go off the board. I don't think so because she's left-handed. If she had been coming with her right hand, I'd say it's different. But she's left-handed. Let's watch this again real quick. <clears throat> First of all, look at where the defenders are. Is that That's Brianna Stewart, I think, over there. That looks like Sabrina. She has, I think, has John Quell Jones on her back side. She goes up. I think she could have gone up with a left-handed layup off the glass, or she could have gone through and reversed it, which would have been completely wide open. Completely wide open. She chose this one. Air ball. Boom. Doesn't catch it. There's a scrum. Oh, look at her just watching. Let's show you. And then this is what – this is a – this is a better angle for you. <clears throat> so she's driving. The basket here on the drive. I, I, I think she could have banked. I, I think that could have gone right off the glass. Looking at that left-handed, you go off the glass, or you go you go to the other side of the basket. There's nothing John Quell Jones could have done. Nothing. But she air pulse it. That's some Angel Reese for you. You want to know the difference between her and Angel Reese, though? She didn't get her own rebound. And look what she's doing while her teammate is on the ground, Jackie Young, on the floor, scrambling for a loose ball. She's watching. She's going She's going Cam Newton on you for the Super Bowl. I'm not diving in that pile. I'm preserving myself. I'm not diving in. Are you crazy? You've lost your damn mind if you think I'm going to risk Injury to win a basketball game. What have we done? Injury. I'm just giving you how ridiculous this was that she's watching while her teammate is on the ground, and the person that she ends up having to jump ball with is five inches taller in Brianna Stewart. You might want to jump in there, Asia. You might want to jump in there. But then let's take a look at this part again. <clears throat> As you see, she's watching. But this is the best part. Play is done. Look where she goes. Look at where she goes. Look at look who she's looking at. She's not looking to pick up one of her teammates. You see the other teammates are, are running to their teammate. You see uh, one, two, three, and you have this one here. The league MVP is complaining at the referee. Complaining to the referee. Let's let's show you this play again. Let's show you this again. At the basket here on the 
What is she crying? She's crying for a foul. There was no foul. My dear, no foul. Crying for a foul. Boo hoo, boo hoo. There's your MVP. <clears throat> Let's go into the numbers. Attendance, 14,321. Another four, almost 4,000 empty seats. Minnesota Lynx, 8796. They are still under their regular season attendance average. They're in the semifinals. I, I, I can't. This is laughing. I'm dying. This is so ridiculous. I'm dying from this absurdity. They fell short again of their regular season attendance. That's insane. That's insane. Now, viewership. <clears throat> and the WNBA will tell you that this is good. Okay. So playoffs. You can't sell out in playoffs. And I'm going to keep pointing it out because it's in your face. And the fact that anyone's going to tell me that they're doing so well. And they can't sell out the playoffs. I have to wonder what's going to happen if Minnesota gets to the championship. Gotta wonder. Will they open the upper deck? Will they be able to sell the tickets to fill that arena? If you can't sell the semis, how can you sell out 18, 19,000 for the finals? Like, it's not remotely. You're not talking about, like, they, they have the upper deck open if they're selling out 15,000, selling 15,000 seats. You're talking about they close the upper deck with a curtain like you're in some bad attending college environment. Like, I've been to Miami Hurricanes women's games where they curtain off literally the entire arena. They have enough seats for, like, 500 people because they still have a lot of empty seats. This is a professional sport. <clears throat> Viewership, 970,000. That's the, Those are the numbers from the Vegas – Liberty game, 970,000. They still couldn't crack a milli. They still couldn't crack a milli. I, I, they couldn't crack a milli. And again, the Minnesota Lynx under seven hundred thou. Under seven was it six seventy? I think it was six. Who cares? Who cares? Was it seven hundred? I, I mean, let me see. I, I I'm so not even. I I so don't even care. It, it's so bad. I, I I don't know. I didn't write this down. I had it written down. I thought I had it, I had it written down. Yeah, I had it written down. I just misplaced the paper. 670,000 links in the sun. 670. ESPN2. Combined again, they did not equal game one of the Fever Sun that did 1.8 million. They did not, equal, did not come close to the 1.8 million of one game. If you want to take it a step further, I didn't actually add this. So I'm going to add this right now. I don't, and I'm going to – I think it's slightly – it's going to be slightly more, but it's not going to be much more. I can promise you that. Six, four. Actually. <laughs> actually. The two games in the semis right now between these four teams – have drawn 3.223 million viewers on TV. Whereas the Fever and Sun in two games drew 4.3 million viewers on average in two games. Between the two games. So 4.3 over 3.223. So you combine four games to get to 3.223. They are still a million TV viewers on average ahead 
of the, these two semifinal series. I presume that they're going to they're gonna pass the two games that the Fever did with six of the other two series. I presume they will. But that's embarrassing. Now, let's consider what's happening now. On Friday, they're playing these games. On ESPN2 again. Now, think about this. <clears throat> ESPN2. So, you ask, who's playing on ESPN? Why can't the WNBA playoffs on a Friday night get on ESPN? I'll tell you why. ESPN values college football more than the WNBA. But who's playing? It is the barn burner matchup of Houston versus TCU. You can't make this up. You absolutely cannot make this up. They have a week. What are we in week six of a college football season? And we've got the one in four Houston Cougars against the three and two TCU Horn Frogs in a battle in the Big 12. Oh my God. You're like, this is crazy. This is crazy. You have a battle in the Big 12 between two trash can teams, and they are taking precedent over the WNBA playoffs. <laughs> are you laughing with me? <clears throat> it's Friday night also. Where will you be? I know when Caitlin Clark played, I stayed my ass at home. Because I wanted to watch her play. My wife and I didn't go out. We just had a baby, so it wasn't that big of a deal. We're not, we haven't gone out too much because we just had a baby. But even though we had it, I got a podcast. I got to watch Caitlin Clark play. On Friday, I'm watching Caitlin Clark play. We can go out after. We can go out at 1030. I don't care. We live in South Florida. I'll go out late. I don't give a darn. But most people... Don't go out at 10 o'clock at night, 10 30 at night. They go out like at 7, 7 30, 8 o'clock. But let me let me give you a little rundown on the viewership on Friday nights this year in the WNBA. <clears throat> there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine Friday night. Well, there were more than that because they did double headers. There were nine that had ratings. <laughs> there were nine that had ratings. Let's 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 put it that way instead. There were nine games that had ratings. They started this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, there were there were nine that had ratings. So there were some more games than that. But let's put it this way. August 30th, Indiana versus Chicago, 1.6 million. That was a Friday night on what network? Ion. Every Friday night game for the WNBA is on Ion. July 12th, Indiana versus Phoenix, 1.34 million. Ion. September 6th, Indiana versus Minnesota, 1.26 million. Ion. August 16th, Indiana Phoenix, 1.22 million. Ion. September 13th, Vegas, Indiana, 1.2 million, Ion. July 21st, Indiana, Atlanta, 1.18 million, Ion. June 7th, Indiana, Washington. Indiana, Washington. Washington. <clears throat> Sorry, at that time, Washington was awful. 1.023 million, Ion. And then you get to under a million, which is May 24th with Indiana and L.A., 724,000 on Ion. And the only game of note that had ratings over 500,000 viewers that were even were even listed in the top games rated this year, the LA Sparks versus Chicago Sky on September 6th did 514,000 viewers on Ion. The top eight games on Friday night on Ion Network were 
Indiana Fever games. Did you know that Ion's a free network? I didn't know that until I just did some research tonight. Ion's a free channel. Ion, you can get with your antenna. I didn't know that. Yet, 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 yet. <clears throat> the ratings on Ion this year for WNBA games was 670,000 per game, which was a 133% increase from 2023. So last year on Ion, the WNBA averaged between 285 and 290,000 viewers. That number went up to 670,000. And eight, sorry, seven of the eight times Indiana was on Friday night on Ion, they drew one million and above. Now, I don't have the rest of the numbers for Ion Network, but I will tell you this, the one, 2.2, 3.4, Four point six, five point nine, seven point three, seven point two, seven point three, nine million viewers from seven games that Indiana drew on Ion Network. Nine million viewers. What do you think the ratings were for the other Ion Network games? I don't know, but they were definitely probably in that same exact 300,000 range they were at last year. Trash. Basura. And the WNBA wants to go put two games in their play on the playoffs on ESPN2. Look, I might be shocked. I may go come back. I this this these none of these games well Minnesota Connecticut won't break 800,000. Not close. Could Indy, could the Liberty and Aces break a million? Possibly. I, I, I don't know. It's a Friday night. It's a Friday night. Is that the is that the, and that's the late game? I'm gonna presume this time, which actually makes it worse. That makes it worse. I'm gonna let me, let me check, check that out as well because I'm because now that's at invade. It's that's gotta be the night the late game. <clears throat> yep, it's the 9.30 game. They start at 7.39. And look at what the WNBA did. You see how stupid that is, by the way? More brilliance here. Because when the Vegas Aces game, sorry, the, the Vegas Liberty game ended, and I watched the last 19 seconds. As I said, I watched the last 19 seconds of that game. When they went into the Connecticut-Minnesota game, the game was already five minutes into the first quarter. They did not wait. They, they, they put this on such a tight time crunch, they did not wait to start the game. They actually had, they let five minutes go in that game. So I don't know if they put it on ESPN News or ESPN whatever. The Ocho, I have no idea. ESPN Plus, ESPN 3, who knows? But they did not wait. You've only got two games. What's the rush? What is the rush? Push the start back 20 minutes. Your viewership missed the first five, six minutes of that game. And now you're going to jam, jam it in again at 7.30 and 9.30 when Minnesota Connecticut could wrong, run long? If it runs to freaking 945, they're going to miss the first quarter potentially. Whoever does sit around to watch it. But I will tell you this, being in the late time slot is not going to be helpful to ratings for the Liberty and the Aces. If I'm wrong, I'll eat crow. And I'll I'll come up, I'll make a video and I'll eat crow on it. But I don't think it's the <clears throat> And I'm not saying you flip-flop them or anything like that, but I probably wouldn't be doing a doubleheader. I'd have one of these games tomorrow. I'd have one of these games tomorrow. I would probably put the Liberty Aces tomorrow. Realistically. I'd put them against whatever the NFL game you have tomorrow night, and I'll take my chances. You did 970 on against baseball. You're facing baseball, and then if I, I would take my chances and, and run that game at 830. 
It's 5.30 Vegas time. Yeah, big deal. I would run that game at 8.30. There's no way I'm running this game at 9.30 at night Eastern time. On a Friday night? Please. And you think you're going to draw ratings? The ratings are bad, man. They're just bad. And we'll see what happens. We we will see what happens, and we will definitely re- report back the reality. And I know that Connecticut and Minnesota won't do squat. I already know that. They're, they're going to be at the 700 number probably again, 750 max. Max. And I, I and I wouldn't be shocked if they're ready, their numbers go down because it's a Friday night. But Ion Network, again, like I, like I said, it's a free network. It's a free network. That's actually in like 100 million homes. It's a free channel, so you can use, use your antenna, your rabbit ears to get that channel. I didn't know that. And clearly no one else knew that or cared because no one watched Ion Network last year. No one watched it last year. So what difference did it make? You know. But at the end of the day, these ratings are garbage. They continue to be garbage. And I know the WNBA right now is disgusted that the Aces lost that game yesterday because they really needed a 1-1 series to draw interest um, in the series because 2-0, <laughs> bad look. Bad. I, I don't know that the Aces win a game, especially after Becky Hammond's comments. I thought that was just silly. Silly comments by Becky Hammond. Oh, they want it more than us? Well, God, dog, well, maybe your team is ready to go home then. Okay. That doesn't inspire people to want to watch. Bad ratings, man. They will tell you whatever they want to tell you. They'll tell you that when it, it went up from last year, though. And they'll, they'll ignore the fact that the reason it went up from last year is because Caitlin Clark came in the building and brought attention to the league. It's the reality. Still, it still remains the reality. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think of these ratings? What do you think of the attendance? What do you think of my comments on these different things? Love to hear your opinions. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. Put those comments in there. Make sure you subscribe. And on Saturday, I'll have a video before Saturday, but on Saturday, you make sure you're with us at 630. As we go live, Yankees Royals. Come on now.